she she uh i was at a party at diddy crib in in la this was uh this was this was the beginning of of 2020 you know what i mean and, uh diddy had he had put everybody else out the crib like the the influx of people he had put them out but he had he had uh he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time man it was really you know what i mean like putting his arm around me right so he had put majority of the people out but he allowed me to stay in there mm -hmm. me and you know maybe about maybe about 15 others you know right jay-z and beyonce being you know two of the other 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 15 people in the room so that that had just put into perspective of the type of company i was in right at the moment you know and she came over and, and introduced herself to me like as if she had to it, right beyonce cut it out but i'm a big fan of your work you know what i'm saying whoop -de -whoop, and that was just dope that was dope as hell to me man that was that was dope i'll get somebody out here a million dollars if they can guess who in here I got a million dollars right now if you can guess who. Photon, Stunner, who you think? Who? 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 I know who that is. I know who the fuck that is. Let's go. Let's go. Now it all adds up. Let me break it down real quick for everybody in the back. So the baby sat down. He's talking about the party he went to at Diddy's, a super exclusive little gathering where Beyonce, so you can assume Jay-Z was there and other top people, like he said, in this room. This sounds like his Illuminati initiation. I mean, what else could it be? Why is there only 15 of you in there? And why did Diddy take such an interest to him? I'm telling you, with Diddy's little freaky ass, sounds like he wanted him a little chocolate dropper, a little tough nigga to try to poke on. You know the baby wasn't going, probably upped on him and was like, nigga, it ain't that, ain't never gonna be that. He defied the system, because you see, he brought out Tory Lanez when they was all against him, especially Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, and Rock Nation. They weren't going for that, and this is at a time when everyone was supposed to turn their back. But he was a real nigga, stood on real business, and you see where it got him. Now he's freestyling, he done tried to direct videos, all these things. He's stupid talented. You can say what you want about his flow. Oh, it always sounds the same, this and that. But now you can see exactly why this happened to him. I remember watching a video, y'all can look it up, of him in Miami making a million dollars in a weekend. And he was hanging out at Diddy's house there too. It just feels like there was a buildup. Maybe he saw some stuff, went through some stuff that he's like, I don't agree with this. And when he did that whole thing with Tory Lanez, he bucked but then they chose to point out oh he's talking about the lgbtq community and all that's how they took him down because that's always going to take you down y'all let me know what you think you still messing with the baby does this make sense it it just adds up like what you doing with them in this little room and then why did it turn on you so ugly when you went against the grain hit the like hit the subscribe i'm gonna see y'all soon Peace.